What's up guys? Like the title says, I'm going to be talking about cleaning your controller. This video is actually going to be really, really, really quick because I actually didn't realize this would be a good video to make until I posted it after I already did it on Instagram and someone was like, dude, you need to make a video on this because people don't know about it. And I'm like, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So I'm talking about cleaning your controller, cleaning your gear. This is one thing I think we all overlook is actually cleaning our DJ console, our laptop. Mine's, mine's, well, one of my laptops, the other one's in my bag. But just keeping it clean and like making sure that it can functionally work. So I'm tearing apart my SKE case while well, I already did it. This is already complete. I'm going to tell you basically what I didn't show you guys. Uh, but I already tore apart my SZ case and cleaned the whole entire thing and cleaned the SZ specifically. So tools that I actually use to do this with are uh, just some sort of rag of some sort. It can be micro fiber cloth, it could be just regular rag, a straight screwdriver, that's just like an extra in case your knobs are hard to get off, uh, and some rubbing alcohol. Oh, and a vacuum, specifically a vacuum with one of these like bristle attachments, the finer the better. Pro note, you can also use compressed air, but I recommend using the vacuum first before you go into using compressed air. Um, and we'll show you guys here in a second. So here is my wonderful Pioneer SZ. As you guys can see, it is pristine clean right now because this whole entire process has been finished and the whole entire case itself has been clean. First off, make sure power is unplugged. Power is unplugged. Get rid of that power. Uh, don't ever unplug a power con like this. It's actually unplugged from there. Side note, little pro tip, never unplug a power con that has power going into it like that. Always unplug from the outlet first, then unplug the power con. Um, it's in the manual. But this is the custom built SE case, laptop arm. You guys know the deal. There's like three parts on this video. But let's talk about how I clean this SZ. So the first thing that I do is remove all of these knobs, remove all these knobs, remove all the faders, remove everything. So how do you do that? Well, this is going to be kind of hard to do one-handed, but most of these knobs you can literally just pull off. Like just put a little force and there it pops off the knob. But the harder ones, what you want to do is wrap this in a cloth because you don't want to scratch your SZ. And you just kind of go underneath of one of these knobs and you little, just pr give it a little pry. It's really hard to do one-handed, but you give it a little pry off and uh, there goes your knob. Or in my case, goes down here. But what you want to do is undo and get rid of all of your knobs. Take them all off. Keep them in the same order unless you, actually, like me, I already know where all these knobs go. There's actually three types of knobs on the SZ. There are these big ones like this. There are the hard ones like this that are hard plastic and then they got the soft touch rubber ones that are in the middle. So the next thing you want to do is vacuum your whole entire SZ board. So to do that I take this right here which is a vacuum with a little bristle attachment. Like I said the finer the better. I actually have a finer one down in my garage that I use sometimes but I'll explain how often I clean my SZ. This is not a complete tear down. This is just a maintenance uh, cleaning. I do do a full tear down. I'm talking like open this thing up and literally clean it to like the pristine as it can possibly get. But take the vacuum, turn on the vacuum, imagine it's vacuuming. Take the vacuum here, go around all of these open knob holes right here, imagine it's on. Uh, go over to your faders, go around your faders, make sure you clean out your faders and uh, basically just sweep the whole entire board. And then my next recommendation if you have a case like mine is to take the actual SZ out and actually sweep the inside of your case so that you have no like little leaves. You'd be surprised when you open your case up how many like uh, like crumbs and stuff are in the corners of the case. You don't even know how it gets there but it does. So yeah, go through, sweep out your whole entire uh, your case, sweep out your controller, and uh, the next thing that we're going to do is to shine it up a bit. Alright, so given that the SZ here, this is electronics, least likely thing you want to use is water on this or something water based. So what I do is I just use some rubbing alcohol or isopropanol, whatever you guys want to actually call it, 91%, um, 70%, it really doesn't matter. The main point in using alcohol is that it evaporates quickly and it's not going to damage uh, your electronics. Take a little bit of isopropanol, 
put it on a rag it will evaporate quickly so put it on a rag and just kind of segment out your board and just go through in detail clean the whole entire board clean your jog wheel off with the rubbing alcohol it's, it's very simple and it's a it's actually a fun process to go through leave your knobs off while you're doing this so that way you can get around all the details underneath the knobs clean it all off and then the last step will be to uh, put your knobs back onto the controller if I can get mine right right there and a little tip to put them on you can actually look on the inside right here this is supposed to be the flat side you can also just kind of like spin it on top of here and eventually it will line itself up so I'll do it again you just kind of spin it and then there it lines itself up and then you push it down on and uh, don't force any of those on make sure that it is lined up correctly and then uh, lastly go through and make sure all your knobs are on one last time very simple process for just a quick maintenance cleaning because you don't want a disgusting looking piece of crap board out there not saying names but there was a certain someone that couldn't hook up to the SZ at our Palmer Place gig and he brought like his SX2 and the thing looked like someone spilled a million drinks on the thing like it was just it looked destroyed and I was like how are you DJing with this thing like the and a couple of the buttons weren't working on the SX2 surprise because it wasn't cleaned properly and maintained uh, you, you gotta maintain this stuff. Even an SX2 is a thousand dollar controller. This is like a two thousand dollar controller or something like that. I think I bought it used for like fourteen hundred. But besides the point, take care of your equipment, guys. Oh, on a side note for the compressed air. So after you vacuum it out, you can take some compressed air and shoot it down around these if you want. I don't recommend doing that because you don't really know what's underneath of it. And when it comes to doing this, this is a maintenance cleaning. This is not a full-fledged cleaning like I do once a year. Just for your guys' insight, I do these maintenance cleanings about two to three times a year. And then I do one complete cleaning normally in the winter time uh, when I'm not doing as many gigs. When I have like a good week to tear this thing apart and clean it out and stuff like that. If you are not doing cleanings, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you start cleaning off or vacuuming your controller or cleaning it at least once a year. At least do it once a year. Uh, especially you guys if you're doing outdoor events like I just did an outdoor festival. I'm going to have some outdoor weddings coming up. Outdoor events, there's a lot of dust that gets kicked up outside and you will be surprised about how much dust gets on your controller. And actually I suggest to all of you guys right now, go look at your controller, go look at your CDJs, your turntables, whatever. Take a close look at it. Is it clean? Is it really clean? Because I know a lot of us, we literally just show up and when we're setting up, it's kind of dark so you don't really notice it and you just, you just go do your thing. And then uh, if you ever get a chance to actually look at your controller, you'd be surprised how dirty that thing gets. And it gets dirty quick. Like I was really surprised because I just cleaned this maybe like four months ago or something like that and the thing was pretty dirty. But anyways, this was a quick video to show you guys how I do a quick maintenance clean on my SZ suggested by one of you guys on Instagram. Link to my Instagram right there, RickyWeber65. Hit me up. That's where I'm spending literally like 90% of my time is on Instagram. So if you guys got any questions and you want to reach out to me with like a personal DM, Instagram is where to go. Uh, but yeah, vacuum, rubbing alcohol, rag, screwdriver if you can't get the knobs off uh, or the faders. But uh, that that's it. Pretty simple. And uh, if you guys are not cleaning your controller and cleaning your laptop, I highly recommend you do. When I do a complete breakdown cleaning of this, the once a year cleaning, I'll also do a video of that because I didn't realize this is something, I do a lot of stuff that I don't realize I should film, so yeah. Anyways, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button. If you would like to support the channel, help out the channel, there's a link to the Patreon page in the description down below. DJ Life Clothing, this is not DJ Life Clothing, this is NLFX. Shout out to Ben at NLFX Pro. But yeah, guys, my name is DJ Rick Webb. Keep them records spinning, guys. Or them CDJs, or them turntables, or those SCs, or those SX2s, or those Hercules controllers. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.